What is the best worst case scenario? To swallow a source emitting alpha radiation, beta radiation, or gamma radiation? Let's find out. Here is a piece of paper. Behind it, we have a thin piece of aluminum. And behind that, we have some thick lead that is 15 centimeters thick. If I have a source emitting alpha radiation, the alpha particles will completely be absorbed by the paper. But if I have a beta source, it will penetrate the paper but gets absorbed by the aluminum. If this is a gamma radiation, the gamma penetrates both the paper and the aluminum, but it gets partially absorbed and weakened when it reaches the block of lead. Putting the three sources in the order of how penetrating they are, gamma is the most penetrating. Since gamma has the highest penetrating power, it is less dangerous to have inside of the body compared to alpha. That's because gamma can penetrate and leave your body quickly, whereas alpha radiation stays inside of your body and it continues to ionize your cells. If we have an unknown radioactive source, we can figure out which radiation it is emitting by using a geiger muller tube. Without placing an absorber between the unknown source and the geiger muller tube, the count rate is 78 counts per minute. When paper is placed in between the two, the count rate stays roughly at 78 counts per minute. This tells us that the source is not emitting any alpha particles. Otherwise, the paper would have absorbed the radiation, so that the count rate would have dropped significantly. Now we're going to switch the absorber out for a piece of aluminum. This time the count rate reduces to 35 counts. So we know that the source must be emitting some beta radiation because some of it has been absorbed by the piece of aluminum. And if we put the block of lead here and the count rate reduces further to 8 counts, this shows that the source is also emitting gamma radiation.